H.R. 2996, the Revitalizing American Manufacturing and Innovation Act of 2014, or RAMI Act, strengthens a critical sector of America's economy, advanced manufacturing. Thanks to Congressman Tom Reed from New York for his diligent work on this legislation, and to Congressman, uh, the gentleman from Massachusetts, Joe Kennedy. I also want to acknowledge the leadership of Science Committee Chairman Lamar Smith, who worked with Mr. Reed and Mr. Kennedy, and members on both sides of the aisle on our committee in order to reach a bipartisan consensus on this legislation. A strong manufacturing base is fundamental to U.S. economic success and national security. Manufacturing supports more than 17 million direct and indirect American jobs. This includes 12 million Americans, almost 10 percent of the workforce, who work directly for small, medium, or large manufacturing companies. For the millions of Americans who are employed in manufacturing fields, what matters most is that the manufacturing creates good-paying, community-sustaining jobs. Manufacturing is especially important to Indiana as it makes up just over 28 percent of our gross state product, the highest in the country. Indiana also leads the nation in manufacturing employment. In Indiana's 8th Congressional District that I represent, I've seen firsthand the work being done at manufacturers such as Berry Plastics, Toyota Motor, and Alcoa. The thriving manufacturing industry in the 8th District is also thanks to universities like Vincennes University, the University of Evansville, and the University of Southern Indiana, producing a talented and well-trained workforce through degrees related to advanced manufacturing and working closely with the manufacturing employers in the district. Ivy Tech statewide also supports this effort. My district is also home to every coal mine in Indiana. Affordable energy from sources such as coal and natural gas are vital components in boosting production for American manufacturers and attracting others from across the globe. The United States continues to have one of the largest, strongest manufacturing sectors in the world and has demonstrated its ability to adapt and innovate time and time again. But our leading position is not guaranteed. Competing nations have been ramping up their investments in research and development and taking decisive steps to equal and surpass the United States. For instance, the World Bank reports that China already has forged ahead in high technology exports with about 28 percent of the global market compared to 18 percent for the United States. We need to take steps now to emphasize the strengths of American industry and short, short up its weaknesses. With a limited government role, we can help our manufacturers to be competitive, ensure that American workers and their families reap the benefits of high-paying advanced manufacturing jobs. This bill will help our advanced manufacturers to accelerate the pace at which new technology is converted into better manufacturing and improved products. And this legislation will help America remain globally competitive in manufacturing. It will ensure that new and innovative projects come equipped with Made in America on their labels.